doing this video today to go through some of the differences that I've found with the Generation 3 PMAGs. I haven't really got a chance to get my hands on a lot of them, but I do got one here that I just got done doing. So I want to do just a quick video and show you some of the differences in case you haven't seen yet. Also, obviously, I'm going to shamelessly take the opportunity to promote my custom mags here, as you can see. So, starting out, these two here are Generation 2. And when I say Generation 2, it's kind of the original P mag because I can't even say I've ever seen a Generation 1 mag. So, we're just going to call these original P mags here. And this right here is a Generation 3. You'll notice that ever since these started coming out, Magpul has been repackaging their original P mags into these bags here. And they've been putting them in this bag, and so it looks new compared to the old version, which is this. However, the biggest difference isn't just the packaging, it's the fact that any of the original mags that come in this packaging do not include the dust cover. So if you see packaging like this, it's not the new generation, it just means you're getting the old mag without a dust cover. However, those prices have come down a lot, well not recently, but they did prior to all the political upheaval when these started getting released. Now to go into the differences, you can probably see it from here, is on the Gen 3s. They just have a, a few different features. Really, they're the same. Magpul says it's a stronger, harder polymer. I mean, based on feel, I can't tell the difference. But as you can see down here, it has uh, like a little dot matrix. From what I've read, that's actually designed to zoom in, give you the ability to mark the mag in order for you to tell how long it's been in service, how long it's been in the field, how many rounds through it. I guess you can pick and choose exactly uh, how you want to mark it for what reason, but I guess that's, what's, that's what that's designed for. And also here you'll see some grips the old PMAG doesn't have. Um, I guess that just aids in you know, magazine swaps. The biggest thing probably that they added and change was the floor plate. You know, there were complaints from guys who wore the mags double stacked in pouches that the floor plates with this with this rib here would catch and hook and maybe extract two mags instead of one or just get caught up. So they kind of made it a little bit lower, slimmer profile. As you can see it's a lot it's a lot slimmer. It is it is nice looking too. It is a de definitely a, a decent upgrade. And as you can see from here, the, the floor plate actually thins out here in the end instead of wrapping all the way around the side of the mag. What this also means is that your dust covers will not fit on the bottom of the mag. Generation 3s do not come with a dust cover. You can buy them separately. However, they will not clip onto the bottom of the mag like they could with the original mags. So just keep that in mind if you're somebody who uses them in that way. I mean, you got little things here and there. The, you get the magwell stop here, which is a little bit more defined now than on the original. Actually, there really even wasn't one on the original. And that's just to prevent overfeeding. I've never had an issue with that with these original ones, but I guess uh, they felt it was a big enough issue to add that feature. I mean, other than that, you're talking very small little things, just the way the, the back here is designed. You know, the feed lips are almost identical. You can tell the difference with the color of the followers. The foliage green is the original. And then they went to this uh, like gray color for the Generation 3s. And the bottom matches as well here. The floor plates punch out the same way. Just pop it and push. I mean, other than that, they're about the same. As you can tell, it's almost, at a quick glance, you can't tell the difference. It isn't until you really pick it up and start playing with it and see some of the little features. And really the floor plate's what gives it away. But other than that, you're talking about an identical mag. So, you know, obviously eventually I'm sure these are going to get phased out. But right now, should they come back in stock, they definitely, you know, these coming out definitely push these prices down. And 
if I could get this a lot cheaper, I'd just end up buying this one, to be honest with you. So, uh, that's about it. I just wanted to go through it real quick in case anybody had any questions or, you know, was wondering what the big differences are between the two. Yeah, obviously, you've been watching the video, so you've seen the designs. Um, this is an older design with a new color scheme. I hadn't done it on a black mag before, so it's a gray on a black mag. Spider there. That's from actually uh, the logo is Spikes Tactical. They're based out of Florida. They build ARs. Um, did that for a guy who has a Spikes rifle to match it up. And then the good old Zombie Hunter mag. But that's about it. I'm by no means an expert. I'm just kind of going off what I've seen so far. So. You know, if you got any questions, feel free to ask and start a discussion. Thanks.